Hey folks, Clay Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Industry Giant! We are still on the very first mission of the campaign, the uh, Greenland map, which has distinctly sort of English-sounding names. Let's not try to think about that too, too much. And in this episode, we are going to be expanding into a paper goods industry. We have a thriving furniture business over here. We're chopping down many trees and turning them in, into furniture and little tiny houses. Uh, we are now selling goods in two uh, cities. We've got Red Oak and we've got Greeley over here. We've got a grocery store and a furniture store in Greeley. Uh, there we go. There's the furniture store right over there, both of which should be relatively profitable, which is nice. And yeah, I want to expand into the paper goods business. So we've got a little bit of money banked up, which is nice. Uh, we will, of course, need to build a bookstore shop, which sells um, all the newspaper, paper products. Actually sells raw paper and raw cardboard at that, which is always really nice to see. Um, I'm a little worried about that. I actually shouldn't have maybe block this train station that way. We could probably go and build a slightly better um, track structure, especially if I'm going to be building another um, another station here. So let me go ahead and get a little something like that. And we're going to go ahead and build some more parallel track to try to prevent a couple of bottlenecks. This should assist. I think they will go and try to avoid one another. Or I might be completely wrong. I thought there was a way. Aha! Aha! There is a way. Okay. We're going to have everyone stay on, say, the right-hand side. So whenever possible, trains will stay on the right-hand side. So you'll do that, and then on your way back? Maybe you don't get to choose a direction. No, oh, you do. There we go. And the right-hand side that way, right-hand side over there, and you'll go in there. There we go. Good stuff. All right. Ooh, metal cars. Cool. Let's pause. Fine weather. All right. This train. Uh, right-hand side. Right-hand side, or is that the train I just did? Train number one. Aha. Right-hand side. And on your way back, right-hand side. Good. And you are going to be on the right there. And on the way back, you're going to be on the right there. Okay, that should avoid a few more of the bottlenecks. All right. Um, yeah, paper industry, I think, is definitely the next thing for us. So, we do need to start by chopping down some more trees. So, let's find a good sweet spot for that. Looks like this area over here is going to be nice. Um, we're going to start with, I suppose, just the one. We will want to... Oops, I want to click on you. Right, you're just going to cut wood. You're going to get 12.5 units. That's good. Next, we're going to have a sawmill. We're going to need two of those. Interesting. We could actually store things in there, which wouldn't be terrible. All right. We're going to need two to keep up the pace. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up another storage over here. Um, that might be a little too large, but we'll do what we can. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, that is loud. Uh, you're complaining about storage. Right, we need to make sure this place here doesn't accept anything except for just raw cut lumber. So the raw cut lumber will go from there into here. These guys will produce wood grain or grain wood. Okay. They're, they're complaining about not having resources yet, but they will in a moment. So this area here, which is disabled for everything except cattle products, we're going to go ahead and allow you to store up to a couple of units of grain wood. No more than a couple of units of leather. A couple of units of grain wood. Actually, I think it would be a good idea to upgrade this guy. So we've got lots of room. We're going to use it for storing a variety of things. We'll also... I'm thinking before I build up my industry, I'm going to get a train set up over here. And can I? I can hook it up to the existing track structure, which is great, because what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this and that. And we're going to make sure to uh, shuffle leather over that way using this thing, because it's in range. Everything is good. Excellent. Um, okay. Okay. Grain is going to go over there, the wood grain. Then, do we have enough money for another industry? We did. We do. Paper mill is going to get built. 
and we can squeeze it in right over there, which is excellent. And you're gonna start generating just plain old paper, which we could sell right away. Not gonna yet. I'm gonna set up a train from over here to carry the leather. Oh, I don't have enough money. Okay, we're gonna pause for a little while. Oh, I gotta trash these cars, do not I? Thought they would get auto-trashed, but apparently not. Oh, I suppose I could have actually added them to my other network, assuming you could get there, and it can't, so never mind. Okay, you are full of... Oh, you have nowhere to store your paper. Hang on. Let's store one stack. We just have to wait for us to make a little bit of money. Oh. It's an interesting choice. Whatever. Got nowhere for your grain to go. Right, because we actually will need a second paper mill. Da -da -da. Um, okay, we have enough money for our train now. So let's go ahead. We're going to make this train. It's going to carry leather and raw paper. We're going to go ahead and sell some of it directly. That's going to be okay. Plus, it'll get things started. Go. It'll give us room for our goods. We'll turn a bit of a profit. This is really not a very good track structure. But oh well. Wow, it actually stopped completely there. Yeah, this is really not... Um, I could move this a little further now, which might not be a good... It might not be a bad idea, because, yeah, these, um, these quote-unquote siding type things are just not long enough. Um, I can trash track, right? Yeah. Trash that, and then rebuild it from here. To there, I suppose. All right, maybe that'll work better, maybe it won't, I don't know. I actually encourage you, oh, you're already trying to go that way, but not ex uh, com uh, successfully executing it. Not a good sign. Are you seriously just jammed? No, there you go. Oh, you're still trying to make your turn over here, but you can't. There we go. Okay, so they just hadn't been updated to the new path yet. All right, we're going to be fine, you guys. We're going to be totally fine. Leather, paper, good, and we've got a bunch of money again. Hey, hey. Um, let's go ahead and set up all the, the direct paper mill stuff. So let's set up some tissues. And... There will be room, we just don't have the money, okay? Oh, uh, we need a bookstore. Silly me. Okay, we got a new type of car, that's okay. Get that going, the tissues going. This train station, I hope I have enough room to upgrade it to four tracks. And I do, because it's gonna need it. Because there's gonna be, what did I just do? Cancel. Because um, there's going to be a lot of trains waiting here. For things and a lot of trains trying to get through as well okay train go tissue we'll upgrade you later on but that's going to be okay for now okay i was going to say i think i accidentally bought another train or no uh Stop clicking on random shit. I'm trying to click on this train. There we go. It didn't have a destination. There we go. So now things are going to get shipped here. Um, we have to make sure that the paper products, yeah. Maximum of one, st one stack used for everything. And what we need to do is get our bookstore up and running. Decent location. 13 calendars during the winter. And we can sell... Uh, oh, we don't sell tissue there. Where do you sell tissues? Uh-oh. Not hard. 
everywhere. That wouldn't make sense. Uh, household store? Yes. Yeah, all it's going to sell is tissues, but uh, whatever. I guess we'll get it going there. It's something. So we're ending up with uh, some amount of paper going on. Uh, oh, these are complaining a bit about shortage of raw wood. So let's go ahead and get another one of those going on. There we go. I think we will want more than one paper mill generating actual paper. I suppose we could switch this over from tissue to paper, but we've got the store set up now, so what the hell. Um, and since we can... Oh, there we go. Let's get started on the newspaper. And the train that's doing the tissue, which is train number five here. So you're also going to pick up... Actually, I'm going to go and do... Like that. You've got nowhere to store your newspaper. All the paper goods, you can have up to one stack. There we go. So newspapers will get made, will get stored there, then will be carried over to Red Oak, uh, which does have a bookstore, so that's good. You're set up to accept. I want to cap this to one. We might need more than one storage in Red Oak at some point. What are you that's not... Oh, your furniture. That's why you're going empty. Yeah, we could really optimize this stuff. Um, actually, yeah, let's do that. Train, you're going to deliver your furniture to Clifton. Then you're going to start up in Red Oak, uh, Red Oak West, and pick up those paper goods. I'll actually just tell you to like pick up one of each, even though we're not producing them yet. That's going to be okay. And the tissue and a paper. That actually would have been perfectly sufficient, I think. And much more efficient. So we've got a couple of trains coming out of Red Oak West. Adding extra traffic and not really helping out. We've got another train that carries furniture though, right? Yeah. What you're going to do, you're going to stop... Uh, no, that doesn't work. Alright, you still do that delivering furniture over there. That'll have to be good enough for now. But as I say, we're going to want to deliver paper goods from here to Greeley, but that'll have to wait until we've got another setup. Real shame about my trains. We're going to have to do a much, much better job setting up these um, these paths later on to prevent bottlenecks. Oh, I don't think he even delivered anything over there. Right, you've got all those. Well, whatever, that's fine. Did you really not pick up any leather? Oh no, you're picking up some leather, just not the paper goods. See, we can use it for a lot more. What are you complaining about? You don't have enough wood? Really? Oh, yeah. No, it needs a few more things. We're going to give them another logging camp, which is going to be within range of that, which is good. And maybe another sawmill. We'll wait to see what happens. Oh, uh, turn on the production. We'll see if with a, a constant supply of this, that we might be able to keep pace at that point. Gift wrapping? Sold at the bookstore, requires paper. Nice! Oh, this paper industry is really going to go crazy here. You've got nowhere to store your grain, so yeah, we're not consuming it quickly enough. Uh, we are going to want to produce more paper. Good. So start consuming that a lot faster. There's actually not a big paper supply, and there's tons of grain kicking around. We actually are going to want another uh, sawmill to produce more soon. Not yet. So it's a lot of this sort of managing of, um, of our production lines. Okay, so we should have lots of paper now, which means we should be able to build a print shop. So we don't have the money. Okay, soon, but not yet. We've already got a train configured to bring the print shop goods over to um, Red Oak as well. And yeah, we'll overlap some of this stuff. Okay, now we've got the money. Print shop. Bam. Uh, you will produce some... Um, I don't know, gift wrapping. It's brand new. 
Hopefully we'll get a nice supply of gift wrapping in time for Christmas. Cancel this last paper. You're going to pick up gift wrapping instead. Times two. We actually don't want to be selling that much raw paper. Selling a little bit is nice because you're capped in how many of anything you can sell in a month. So you may as well try to hit all the categories as much as possible, even though selling raw paper doesn't give you as much of a profit as turning as selling the finished product. Um, but it doesn't have to be produced, so it still gives us, you know, it's still a profit to book. So we may as well try to pack as much as possible. How's our um, turnover? We're hitting a million. We still have a lot of time left to go. We have a lot more paper products uh, to go as well. The sawmill was hitting a bit of a capacity, and we don't have a lot of paper sitting around here, so I think we will indeed want yet another paper mill. More paper. At some point, we're going to want to start making cardboard as well. <clears throat> okay, we got to wait for more money. Paper is just barely piling up. Doesn't help that we are shipping some over here, of course. And it is being sold, actually. It's not accumulating or anything. So that's nice. Our tissue is accumulating, however. But that's okay. So what will happen is a train, like this one here, has a couple of tissue. We'll attempt to drop it off. And if it doesn't have room for it, it'll stay on, which means it doesn't pick it up next time. But it looks like it's actually going okay. Wrapping paper. Yeah, we're producing too much tissue too fast. There's not enough being picked up. We could probably bring the tissue production down by a notch. Ooh, what is this? Vehicle breakdown. Oh, no! Clone the broken vehicle. Insufficient maintenance. Right. So, you can build a repair facility. And yet you add it to something, is that it? There we go. And maybe to here. Okay. I don't remember that. Maybe that was added in the expansion. Now, I think any train that passes through here will get repaired. And here as well. Or it'll stop for maintenance if it needs it. So, that's good. Alright, paper is starting to pile up. And actually, it's the newspaper that um, isn't being picked up enough. And I don't think there's actually a stockpile of newspaper over here. Is it being shipped out? Oh, wait, hold on. No, no, there's none of it. So, let's find one of our trains. You here don't actually have a full load. There, grab more newspaper. I think we produce a lot of it, and I think there's quite a bit of demand. I think newspaper is one of those things that doesn't sell for a lot, but you end up with a lot of it. There you go, picking up a full load, and go. Paper is piling up. Um, if we've got money, we can build our next printing shop job. And we do have the money for it. And if we go here, it'll grab everything correctly. Um, we don't have calendars yet. Let's get started on that. Oh, it needs cardboard. Hold on. Cards need cardboard. Copy books. We'll build that because that's just paper. We're going to stuff our cardboard industry soon. I think what we might do is I might... Cause it's starting to clutter up here. I guess it's fine. I can build a couple of cardboard factories over here. The cardboard can get applied over there. I think we'll be fine. That storage is starting to be used pretty heavily, though. Yeah, the tissues. Oh, is that short on leather, right? Let's go ahead and make sure we're grabbing the copy books. We'll replace that. The next trip, it'll pick up a copy book, except instead of one extra leather. How are we doing over here? Any errors? Not quite enough storage for chairs, which just means we don't have that much. Everything is actually starting to be backlogged a little bit. We could open up a second furniture store in Red Oak. That actually might be an excellent idea. Furniture is making us a good amount of money. Um, now, we want to, like, the overlap will mean but it's not getting as many sales. This isn't bad. Um, zero, two, three, three, two. Three, 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 but it's out of range. I think we'll build it here. It's in range of our existing thing. Should get some extra sales. There we go, furniture store. Without changing anything here, we should just make a lot more money just by selling more furniture over there. Okay, we've got lots of paper. 
Presumably a good amount of pulp, and we do. Let's start on our cardboard production. One, two. Ooh, peanut butter! Peanuts and milk. Mmm. I mean, we're not growing any peanut yet. Cardboard, go. Cardboard, go. Okay. Paper on cardboard is capped. Start producing that. And then... Um... Oh, we don't have the money. We're actually negative money! Oh, noes! Okay, now we have lots of positive money. But I should be careful about that. I think if you go, like, if you end a year negative, they give you one more year. And I think if you're still negative, you go bankrupt and lose. I mean, our cash flow is such that we should never... We shouldn't lose from that. We just have to make sure that we don't accidentally overspend. No more storage left from the print shop. Wrapping paper is accumulating because it is a seasonal thing. I think what I want to do is I'm going to build another storage over here. Like so. There we go. Sort of set to one of everything of that. Finished goods, just to make sure there's a little bit of extra room for finished goods. And yeah, I think I'm going to just set up a new train. Um, what I'll do, actually, is use the big one. Buy this. Make an extra newspaper and a tissue. It's going to go from Red Oak uh, West to Red Oak South, back to West. It's going to pick up the same load again. It's going to be tissue, double newspaper, these things, and then it's going to bring that down to Clifton Central. Which actually, we could sell some stuff in Clifton as well. There we go. So it's going to run that sort of route, and we're going to open up a bookstore in Greeley. Except we don't have any money. It's okay. Can wait until some goods arrive. Actually, this thing really needs to be upgraded. Because it is full up. And right, it is getting some paper supply already at that. There we go. Things are being consumed. Yeah, it doesn't have a bookstore. It needs some. It also needs a household goods store for the tissue. I actually shouldn't be producing any tissue. Shouldn't have done it in the first place, but... Now that I am, let's commit to it. We can see about uh, other household goods we might be able to produce later on. Okay. Upgrade. There we go. I feel better about that. Um, bookstore. 333. Three, three. So this seems to be a pretty good spot for the bookstore. And household goods. So it can sell tissue, which isn't in terribly high demand. A little bit more in the winter, when people have their sniffles. That's a decent spot for it. By replacing buildings, you do take out some of the production of your other um, shops, though, because they don't demand the same type of stuff. Like, we've lost a building that was demanding something, I should say. Oh, a new train. That might have been nice. Okay. Copy book storage is full. Print shop paper is full. I mean, we have a variety of things that are picking it up. Wood storage here is full. Um, and it looks like we're going to run out of pulp, which makes a lot of sense. Build another sawmill over here. You're not pulp, grain wood. There we go. Use up more of that. Send it more over there. Cardboard is full. But I don't think we're producing... We've uh, started Calendar. We need to do playing cards as well. Which will probably require another train. So if the... Um, the wrapping paper and the copy books are full. And we're starting to produce um, cards. I'm going to make a new train. We're going to go copy book, copy book. Cards, cards. Um... Oh, and wrapping paper. Wrapping paper. And, I don't know, one more wrapping paper. 
you know, from there to there to back here, where you're going to do the same thing. Copy book, copy book, cards, cards, gift wrapping, to there. Trains are going to be spending a lot of time waiting. At least they're being repaired now. Production is going. How's my turnover starting to look? 3.5 million. Good. Very good. I would still like to increase my food industry, and I should really look into selling to some of these other places. Now, when it unloads, I don't know if it like splits the load evenly or how it works like if I wanted to sell paper goods in Clifton not sure what would be involved in doing that I mean yeah it can overflow from one to the other but other than that I'm not sure what are you like not carrying you are not carrying many eggs or bread products well bread products make sense they're seasonal and actually it's September right now um, I think though clearly I should max out my chickens since we're carrying empty loads of eggs so let's get some more of that going on again. Dorchester's grown. I think selling things there makes a lot of sense. I mean, we can just start a separate industry to sell to Dorchester and Auburn. Maybe um, maybe some simple farms there, right? It'd be nice to do juice. There is some glass over there. It's pretty far away. And all the metal as well. Like, Take the metal, get a steelworks. Um, we've got metal toys. What else do we build? Deep freezers. Steel and high grade steel. Yeah, see, it's. Well, like, you want to find a real combo. You can make a lot of money with this stuff, but you need a lot of goods working together. The profit potential is massive. Wine is pretty good, too. Again, you do need the. Um, you need the glass industry. Oh, there's more glass over here. Okay, a wine thing. This is a vineyard. Can we find decent vineyard production? 12 is as good as it gets. 14, 15. I don't know what the cap is for wine, but I suspect we're nowhere close to hitting it. Oh, there was a 20. Ooh, 29. There we go. So there's some decent wine country in the middle here. And I think we just sell that in the grocery store, which we already have in a couple of towns. I think that's what we might do. However, we will wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching another episode of Let's Play Industry Giant. I will be back next time where perhaps we will expand into wine and maybe build a separate set of tracks so that our traffic's not so horrible. But if I built a little vineyard here, got a bunch of glass over here for some bottles, which we could also use for, um, for juice later on, build the vineyards, we could easily um, ship it to, uh, to Red Oak and Clifton, if nothing else. They already have their grocery stores. But I think a grocery store in Dorchester would be quite nice because we can ship a good number of things from over here. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.